Does your snapper rear engine rider make a buzzing noise when you try to cut it off? I may have the solution. Let's go over something real quick. I would not recommend anybody doing any of this without having the battery disconnected. So I'm gonna bring you over here and let you know. First, before you start on any of this, you wanna disconnect your battery, okay? Don't want sparks to go flying or nothing stupid like that. This shouldn't really have to be said, you know? But I'm adding this into the video just in case your dumbass doesn't realize what you're doing wrong, okay? Second, I must tell you, take a picture of what the solenoid wiring looks like before you start. Now you really just get in here. I'm using a 13 mil, I'm going slow. They weren't extremely tight. Once you get them like hand tight, I'm just gonna back them off. And set them down here. Y'all, it's 95 degrees out. You gotta give me a like, share, and subscribe right quick. All right, that's what we're asking for. So you got your magneto, your switch, and your power. So we're gonna remove all of these. And whoever put this on took this little piece here so serious. And then you got your ground which is your starter cable and then this is your ignition switch which is a 10 mil we're gonna go grab that 10 mil we'll be right back okay i know i said grab the 10 millimeter socket but you don't need to unscrew that nut to get that connection off for the blue wire just pull it all right this is actually not as easy as i thought it would be i'm having to pull the reverse lever back to get it out the way and try to do this while filming and then move my hand out the way just to show y'all how we're fighting to get this bolt out i need to stay level like i said y'all it's 95 degrees out here please like share and subscribe all right fucking hot so we got to do this fast got the old one off finally wanted to show you the differences between the two you see how the stickers on that side on the old one but on this side on the new one it shouldn't bother you where they choose to put the manufacturer sticker has nothing to do with your orientation of the wires okay so you would hook everything up the same way you took it out but I just wanted to show y'all the same size. This old one has probably seen way better days. We're gonna go ahead and throw it in now. All right, excuse the noise of my air conditioner. Um, this is gonna wrap up the solenoid video. I tested it, um, drove it around. I did not get a buzzing after riding on it. That was relief. Um, I don't have everything super, super tight in here but it is bolted down where it gave me a ground and I got a good start. You definitely wanna bolt it down pretty good to the frame if you're doing the three pole because that's your ground. Um, on this side, I have my black, which is my starter ground, my starter wire. On this side, I have my battery connection. Behind the battery connection, I have the magneto switch, which is the white. And then we also have the uh, ignition switch here and we also have I believe the ignition switch here there's two of them um, one I believe it's just it's like a starter switch one is the ignition switch itself it's extremely hot so I definitely want y'all to like I said give me a like share subscribe um, you unbolt it but what you do before you unbolt it is you take a damn picture and you you know you get a good orientation of how all the wires came out so you can actually get all the wires to come back in. One thing I noticed during this process, I've got a linkage here that's supposed to connect into here. That's no longer grabbing. I gotta figure out if it's just this boot or if it's something in here, but I'm thinking that's why I don't have like the best reverse. Um, but all the other gears work fine. 
So I want to go over a few other things in the next video, like a total overview of what we had to do to get this going. But it does look good with the seat cover on it because the seat was horrible. I got the cover back on the bottom because we know we have the deck and the belt in sync. We've got the cover on the top to protect from rainwater and I'm about to put my tarp over it. I'm extremely happy. I'm gonna share something extremely important here. This is a four pole solenoid people like to go to, but if you don't have the proper tools or the ground wire to switch from a three to a four, you're gonna be doing it wrong and it won't start. I went direct replacement from a three pole back to a three pole, just so I can bolt everything back up the way I had it. Here's another look at the four pole so you can understand the differences in between it and a three pole solenoid. Of course, as always, I wanted to thank everybody for taking the time and watching this content. If you can, please like, share, subscribe. We love y'all.